Yup, that's right folks. It has now officially been over one full year since that initial reveal trailer for the Breath of the Wild sequel. Time really does fly by when you're having fun, which if you're an avid Zelda fan constantly keeping up with the latest news, then, uh, not so fun time. Yeah, we have had no news whatsoever on the currently in the works sequel to Breath of the Wild, but it is what it is. We can't change the fact that there has just been no news on the game yet. And whilst I agree it is frustrating, but yet exciting, it probably just means the developers aren't ready to show us anything yet, which is cool. It's cool. It's cool. But as fans, we can still speculate and theorise on various topics regarding the sequel, which myself and many other creators and fans have been doing ever since the reveal trailer. But one topic I haven't seen much discussion on is the potential side quests the sequel could offer. We know the first game had a ton of enjoyable side quests, like the Terrytown side quest, and I can't see the sequel not having them as well. So I've put together a list of 5 dream side quests of mine for the sequel. Be sure to go grab yourself a snack or drink, and show me said snack or drink on my social media pages to get featured right here, and let's get into the side quests. Breath of the Wild had a huge but not implied emphasis on talking to the NPCs and characters of Hyrule. Everyone in the world, regardless of their status, has a story. Humble travellers, merchants, royalty, and even Beedle all have their own story. It can be so fascinating to just talk to people, and one of the most interesting characters in my opinion is Kilton, the monster-obsessed merchant. Kilton can be originally found at Skull Lake in the Akala region, then all over Hyrule as a travelling merchant. He specialises in monster stuff, such as outfits and consumables. The dude loves monsters, just as much as I love Zelda. He studies them, acts like them, and even dresses like one. And an interesting way to involve Kilton in the sequel would be for a side quest where, alongside Kilton, we need to go monster spotting. Almost like a safari trip or something. The trip could kick off by talking to Kilton and him telling us that new monsters have been rumoured to have migrated into Hyrule, or maybe Kilton wants to explore the further lands of Hyrule to discover new monsters. Either works. We head out with Kilton to find these new monsters, capture a picture of them with the Sheikah Slay, and potentially slay the beast to recover their horns, claws and what have you for Kilton to examine. This side quest is not only acting as a side quest to have in the game, but also a unique way to introduce new foes to the game, as it's unlikely a brand new Zelda game will have no new monsters, as it would get rather stale if it was just the same old monsters from before. The story of the Champions of Hyrule in Breath of the Wild is heartbreaking. Four of the five champions were killed by their own divine beasts when Calamity Ganon's malice fueled attack corrupted them and left the champions with little chance of survival. But there are four individuals who could be the new champions of Hyrule. Whilst their Bosa, Rivali, Daruk and Mipha are gone, they do have descendants and closely affiliated characters that could be the second generation of champions. Riju of the Gerudo is an ancestor of Urbosa. Urbosa is not her mother by the way, which I have covered in the past. Sidon of the Zora is the little brother of Mipha. Yunobo of the Goron is the grandson of Daruk, and Teba of the Rito is the one who currently protects Rito Village, the previous role of Rivali. Link is one of the original champions, and unfortunately, the only one still alive. But in what will be a recovering Hyrule, the only way is forward, and establishing some new champions to protect the land could be a very good idea for the kingdom. This could be a huge side quest, or hell, maybe even a main quest if significant enough to the story. I could see it beginning with Link going to each of the four champions to be and informing them of this proposed second generation of champions, and then once getting them all on board, he helps train them up to the best of their ability, helping them with tasks ordered by Princess Zelda, and maybe even helping them build new signature weapons or armour, similar to Riju's Thunderhelm, Rivali's bow, Mipha's light skill trident, and Daruk's boulder breaker. Along with all of that, perhaps Link could even ask them to join him on specific quests where their help would be handy. There are a ton of possibilities for this idea, and it would also offer a lot of content to add to the story of the sequel. 
The Kingdom of Hyrule in the sequel to Breath of the Wild is, as previously mentioned, likely to be in a recovering phase. A stage of life where the kingdom is actually safe and able to begin fully rebuilding, knowing there will be no active guardians roaming the fields of Hyrule, as Calamity Ganon has been defeated, presumably ending his malice control on the guardians. This kingdom is in ruin, and whilst it does need rebuilt, a lot of stuff needs to be recovered treasure and information lost in the midst of Calamity Ganon's attack. One very important thing that could be worthwhile recovering is relics. Important items and pieces of history that were likely either destroyed or lost. My idea is that now that Link and Princess Zelda can talk and discuss important matters due to being safe from Calamity Ganon, Zelda might know of some relics from inside Hyrule Castle and all over Hyrule that she wants to know if they are still intact. It's a bit out there, but hey, this is a dream side quest list. But I think it would be awesome if we went out searching in the rubble of Hyrule for relics like the Ocarina of Time, the medallions from A Link to the Past, and the Goddess Harp. There are tons of relics from the past that could be recovered and brought back into the possession of Princess Zelda, which could even offer some interesting game mechanics if we got to use them, but that is a bit of a stretch. Just recovering them would be cool enough for me. Side quests have been a thing in the Zelda series for a long time. They just weren't as big a thing due to the linearity of past games, and one of my favourite side quests, which might actually be a main quest from the past, is Twilight Princess's escort mission. Here, Link must escort Telma, Elia, and Prince Rallus of the Zora. My love for that side quest combined with one of your guys' suggestions has actually inspired this pick. The other day, I made a post asking you guys what some of your dream side quests for the sequel would be, and The Divine Beast replied with this idea, which I feel would work really well with my idea. They suggested that we have a side quest in the Faron region, saying that the region doesn't have enough things to do, so a cool side quest would be Link coming across a man who has a horse pulling a cart of bananas. This person could be a merchant, someone who sells bananas to the regions outside of Faron that can't grow them. He needs to make his commute from one side deep within Faron to the outside of the region in order to sell the bananas, but he keeps getting hassled by the Yiga clan. The thieves of the Yiga clan are constantly attacking the merchant and stealing his bananas, which works so well because of the Yiga's obsession with bananas. It makes sense. Link's job is to help escort the man and his bananas across the Faron region, and maybe even to wherever he is selling them, as the Yiga can be unpredictable and found all over Hyrule. The comment suggests that the merchant starts with, say, 40 bananas, and if they lose 10 bananas, Link fails the mission and has to restart. If they make it through the Faron region or to the destination the merchant is headed to, Link will be rewarded, in either rupees or bananas. This would be such an awesome side quest, and of course, credit to The Divine Beast for suggesting this idea. Be sure to keep up to date with my community posts here on YouTube, and check out my Twitter as I often make posts asking you guys questions for upcoming videos. Before getting to my fifth idea, here are a couple of honourable mentions. One of the most notable ruins in central Hyrule is the Ranch Ruins, a near carbon copy of Lon Lon Ranch in Ocarina of Time. Rebuilding these ruins in the sequel and restoring the ranch back to its glory would be an awesome side quest. Another idea would be a side quest that involves the Yiga clan. I have no idea how it would be done, but some sort of Yiga battle part 2 would be awesome. As I've mentioned a few times throughout the video, Hyrule will be in a time of repair in the sequel. The kingdom will likely be in the process of building Hyrule back up to glory, and one location that absolutely has to be rebuilt in the sequel is Castletown. Castletown was once the most populated settlement in Hyrule, located right below the castle, and the reason I didn't say restoring THE castle as a side quest is because the rebuilding of homes and settlements would be a higher priority than rebuilding the castle, considering Zelda is the only remaining member of the royal family, as far as we know. I'd like to think she doesn't need a castle all to herself right away. Anyway, an awesome side quest could come about whilst having a discussion with Princess Zelda, perhaps on our plan of action or a list of everything that needs to be done, and one of these things is rebuilding Castletown, the heart of Hyrule. 
We could need to seek out multiple tradesmen and women who are trained in craft, forging and anything necessary to rebuild the town. It would involve a ton of fetching materials, gathering help, working as a team, bringing in new residents and people seeking work, and ultimately restoring the famous castle town, which would also be helpful as we see in Breath of the Wild that there are a ton of travellers. This is really emphasised by the amount of makeshift tents and campsites we see all over Hyrule. Perhaps once the town is finished, we can inform travellers that Castletown is now a safe place following the defeat of Calamity Ganon and repair of the town. Thanks a ton for checking out the video, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to drop a like and consider subscribing for more Zelda content. What did you think of my ideas for some side quests in the sequel to Breath of the Wild? And what are some of your dream side quests for the sequel? Let me know down below in the comments. Huge thanks to all of my Patreon supporters for your incredibly generous support to the channel. You really help me to keep making these videos week in, week out. Special mention to new patrons Sum Guy, Lou Silverman, Selena Gutierrez, Patrick Terry Jr., Cecile Deadworth, and King the Mace. I've been meaning to do these sort of special mentions to new recent patrons, so from now on I will be doing that. And uh, sorry in advance if I butcher any names, I'm very bad at that. If you'd like to become one of my patrons and get your name featured at the end of all of my videos and more, then head over to my page for the card in the top right or link in the description. Again, thanks for watching, and until the next time, I've been Hyrule Gamer.